Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 12, Geometric Series, Part 1. Geometric Sequences. Consider the following number pattern, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96, and so forth. Take note, there are semicolons in between, and therefore we are dealing with sequences. This pattern is not linear, in other words, arithmetic, since there is no constant difference between the terms. In this pattern, each successive term is obtained by multiplying the previous term by 2. In other words, if you, if you take term 2 and divide by term 1, or term 3 divided by term 2, or term 4 divided by term 3, etc., and you will get 2 all the time. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 34 divided by 12 is 2. 48 divided by 24 is 2, and so forth. So there is a constant ratio for this number pattern, and this kind of number pattern is then called an exponential or geometric sequence. We can rewrite this pattern using only the first term and the constant ratio. Like term 1 is 6, term 2 is 6 times 2, term 3 is 6 times 2 squared, term 4 is 6 times 2 cubed, term 5 is 6 times 2 to the power 4, term 10 is 6 times 2 to the power 9. So you will notice that the exponent of 2 is always 1 less then the position of the term, like 4 is 1 less than 5, 9 is 1 less than 10, 99 is 1 less than 100. So therefore, the exponent will be n minus 1. So therefore, the general term of the pattern is tn equals to 6 times 2 to the power n minus 1. If this letter a is used for the first term and r for the constant ratio, an exponential number pattern, then the pattern can be written as follow. T1 is therefore A then, then T2 will be A times R. T3 will be A R squared. Remember now, the exponent is 1 less than the position. Of term 4 will be A R cubed. Term 5 will be AR to the power 4 and so forth. So therefore, term N will be AR to the power N minus 1. And this is then called the general term of an, a geometric sequence. Exponential or geometric number patterns have a general term. So remember now, TN equals to AR to the power N minus 1. Remember now, A is the first term. D represents a constant or common ratio. In this case, we use R and not D. N represents the position of the term. And of course, TN represents the nth or general term, the value of the term in the nth position. So remember now, with D, we only use for arithmetic. So here we use R for a common ratio. But let's consider the following geometric sequence. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6,5. You can check there's definitely no common difference. So this is therefore not arithmetic. Determine a formula for the general term of the sequence and find the value of the 15th term. But if you say, if you look at common ratio like 3 divided by 2, or 4,5 divided by 3, or 6,25 divided by 4,25, each time you'll get 3 over 2 or 1.5. So that means it's geometric. So therefore, you choose the general formula for geometric, Tn equals to AR to power N minus 1. Do your substitutions. A is 2. Of course, R is 3 over 2. And of course, N minus 1. Right? Simplify and substitute your 15 into the formula to get the 15th term. Use the calculator, of course, you are allowed to do that. And the answer is therefore 583,86. Right, let's consider the following sequence. 
negative 5, 10, negative 20, and 40. And yet again, you will realize there is a common ratio, namely negative 2. Right. So, so therefore, it is geometric because there is a common ratio of negative 2. Right. So the 20th term, so do your f f uh, substitution into the formula. T20, A is negative 5, and of course, R is negative 2 to the power 20 minus 1. Because remember, they want the 20th term. Right? Now, be careful now with the negatives. Don't, uh, don't multiply negative 5 with negative 2. It will be incorrect. So, please use a calculator when you do this. Right? Please, please, please. Use a calculator and you'll get the answer of course, of 2621440. Right, let's determine which term in the sequence 4, 12, 36, 108 is equal to 8,748. So again, check is this the common ratio? And we realize, yes, there is a common ratio 3, right? So substitute your 8748 into the TN. And of course, A is 4 and R is 3, right? Then you divide both sides by 4 to give you 2187. And then, of course, uh, we need now to either use logs or we can use exponential laws. Like 2187 is 3 to the power 7 equals to 3 to the power n minus 1. So the bases are the same. So therefore, the exponents are equal. 7 equals to n minus 1, so therefore n is 8. So therefore, the 8th term is 8,740. Don't forget, you could have used logs here as well. Let's look at the following example. The first term is k plus 1. The second term is k minus 1. The third term is 2k minus 5. And they tell you that this is a geometric sequence. So therefore, there must be a common ratio. So therefore, T2 over T1 is equal to T3 over T2. So do your substitution. K minus 1 over K plus 1 equals 2K minus 5 over K minus 1. Cross multiply. Remove the brackets. Write or collect all your like terms and make sure you have 0 on either the left hand side or the right hand side. So it's k squared minus k minus 6. Factorize or use the quadratic formula if you prefer. Therefore, k is 3 or k is negative 2. So now we have two different k values. If we first test k equals to 3, then we get the answer 4, 2, and 1. If we do k equals to negative 2, we get the answer negative 1, negative 3, negative 9. And both answers are correct. It is advisable for you to look at these examples. Please work through them. Make sure you understood and you can do them. You can only benefit from it. This is the, the solutions to the examples. Please don't be, be honest with yourself. First, work through the examples before you check the answers. Good luck. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman from Mathematics with Ams. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you do find it uh, worth your while. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.